everyone, it's Katie, and today I am going to be doing my first vintage hair tutorial. I want to incorporate more vintage beauty onto my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a, um, it's a 60s kind of bouffant hairstyle, and it's really easy and simple to accomplish. Um, if I can do it, you can do it, because, you know, I'm not a professional by any means. Um, I was inspired by B Town. Um, I'll link her down below. She has amazing videos on um, vintage tips and tricks and stuff like that. And her videos just really have helped me with learning more about the classic eras that I am in love with and have helped me to be able to recreate looks like this. What you're going to need for this hairstyle is your regular hairbrush, of course. Um, a teasing comb with a rat tail. This one's not exactly a rat tail, but it does do the job. And you are also going to need hair grips and a set of hot rollers. Um, this set is just the Remington Pro one. I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below if you want to check this out. They are so convenient and nice and I just highly recommend having a set on hand and learning how to use them properly because it just they do wonders yeah, that's basically it for supplies and let's get right into the style so you're going to want to set your hair in hot rollers like i showed you before and i just got these so i'm not the best at doing it yet but this is how i do it and i just have everything going backwards they're all rolling away from my like towards my head away from my face these are all rolling back and the ones in the back are also rolling just downward. Once these have had enough time to set and cool, you are going to take them out one by one. And you're going to be taking your teasing comb and hairspray and teasing them as you go and spraying them as you go so that um, the tease holds as best as it can. You're just going to brush it out. I don't tease too too much because I don't want it to be that crazy but it just depends on how you want the style to turn out. I used um, the biggest rollers I had for this. I used the big size and the medium size and this is actually all I have. I don't have any smalls but that's just what I used and preferably you're going to want to use um, big ones but I ran out. you want to make sure that you're getting right down at the root so that you don't cause like a line and then a little divot um i had my hair like teased into a little beehive um bump for my homecoming dance this year and my sister did it and she did a really good job but there was a little um divot right here because she didn't get it right down to the scalp Rooster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put this on the internet. You're just gonna start smoothing it out very lightly to not remove your tees. You're gonna brush your curls too. Now you're left. 
left with your big hair and you can go in and add teas as it's needed and hairspray after you have done um, all those steps you can just kind of play around with it and make it how you like it shape it um, I like to pin back either this front section a little make a little style like that or I like to put in my black headband and it gives just like this really classic 60s look where everyone has their little headbands and their big hair so I'm going to style this up real quick just like I think I'll probably put in my headband and it's not that relevant for you guys to watch because you can just style it however you would like so I've just popped my headband on and I don't slide it up I like because it's like a wraparound one um I just pull it up and then I place it down right behind my little bump so that it doesn't smash down my volume and I do add a couple of um, hairpins on it to make sure that it doesn't slip. And if you notice once you've done your style that because the back should be higher than the front that you have a little bit of unevenness in your teasing just go right back in and fix that up. Because normally when I put in my headband, I find that the pieces around my face have fallen a little. And I just need to touch those up. And voila! This is a pretty much your finished look. You just sculpt and shape to how you would like it. And this is how I like it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know if you want me to do more hair tutorials. I do have a 1940s inspired look that I love to do. Um, I've been doing it a lot lately and it's gotten me like, the first day I wore it, like 20 people told me that they like my hair. So I hope you guys did enjoy and let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!